Hello, Cancer. Welcome to your May the 12th reading. I hope that you are doing amazing. This is for anybody with a strong Cancer placement in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Cancer, although I am doing this reading on the 12th of May, please note that it can be your reading at any given point in time that you feel drawn to it. So just ignore the timing overall. <laughs> All right, Cancer, let's see what we have for you. All right. All right, all right, all right. So you have the energy of exchanging gifts. Um, in this particular case, I feel like it's the gift of communication and the gift of time. Um, there's a strong focus here on uh, feminine energy in the colors of the cards, you know, in the pink and, and the purple. And so I feel like this is a very nurturing, very loving energy between you and another person. Um, I don't feel like this is a physical gift. We do not have a page of coins showing here or even a knight of coins. Um, or, you know, Knight of Cups or a Page of Cups. So don't feel this is a physical gift, but I do feel like it is the gift of communication, which we see here, and the gift of time. Oh, we do have the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is not handing anything. So we start off with the Six of Swords and the Ace of Swords. This is indicating you and another person are moving away from a very difficult energy. You're moving away from some sort of struggle. There's some sort of communication to resolve a situation and to move forward in life. It could be that you're going to your friends and your family asking for some advice on how to leave a situation behind, which we saw that you have had for your last three readings. <laughs> We saw that you had this energy of needing to leave something behind. Perhaps now you're actually getting to that point where you're able to mentally do so, um, which is fantastic. So we see this, this focus on gaining an epiphany on how to move forward peacefully in life, right? How to move forward after a time of chaos, after a time of struggle, and um, to release any energy of that which is unknown, that which is unheard, that which is outside of your realm of understanding. With the Hermit card here and the Knight of Pentacles, I do feel that there is a very slow moving energy for you. You've taken a lot of time to consider things on your own. You have a lot of thoughts, a lot of viewpoints on why you have, may have had some roadblocks in life, why there may have been some detours in life, as we see here in this particular card, right? Um, and all of those difficulties, all those struggles that cause a sense of chaos and this need for this need for peace through the chaos, we see that you know you've been reflecting on, or you will be reflecting on those things. Prior to communicating with these friends and family, and I feel like once you communicate with these friends and family, they're going to give you precisely what you need in order to move forward. The epiphany is showing here. The download of information is showing here. So I feel that they're going to be um, exceedingly important into helping you find your way forward. See, look, temperance, temperance. The moon and the high priestess are similar energies. Six of swords, this is you reflecting on that, just like I said. <laughs> All right. So what do I see? <laughs> What do I see? What do I see? What do I see? Having the Six of Swords come up twice, I feel is very significant, as well as the, the energy of the Temperance card here in our main row. 
This is, this is you being very patient about the need to have to move forward. You being very patient about a situation that you have to leave behind. You healing from a situation you have to leave behind. Something that made you feel very emotional. Something that made you feel very unsettled. It could be that there was a fear that something was hidden from you. That you couldn't quite see the whole truth. And nothing, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Um... That something was outside of your realm of understanding as to why you went through so much difficulties with a person or a situation. And then here with the hermit, you're reflecting on the direction you should have gone in. Notice how there's one person in the boat here. There's three people in the boat here. Um, there's reflection on the direction you should have gone in in order to release this energy or a direction you wish you could go in in order to release this energy. It's possible that you may be wishing and hoping that there's another person in your boat here. And with the Ace of Swords and the Five of Wands, there's been a lot of overthinking with regards to this toxic energy and this combative energy that's been lingering. Um, we do see with both the Justice card and the High Priestess card, usually we see them both in a very similar setting. One is the Secret Keeper and the other is sort of like the Keeper of Contracts and Good Deeds and Bad Deeds, right? And so there's this focus on, um, you know, getting your just due, but also not really knowing what that is because there's some, some information that's not available to you. Okay, so we do see the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. And so I do feel that exchanging gifts is going to be the gift of someone's heart, the gift of someone's emotions, the gift of communication, the gift of time. And we see that that is really going to help you to find your way forward. If you're looking for a way forward, let's see if it has anything to do with romance. Is there anything romance related that Cancer needs to hear right now? Is there anything romance related that cancer needs to hear? Whoa, give your relationship a chance in the reverse. If you've been wondering if you should have held on to that relationship that you walked away from, that is a big flat no. <laughs> Giving your relationship a chance in the reverse is no, do not work on, on a former past partnership that caused you headache, heartache, and difficulty and toxicity. Instead, move towards something more peaceful, a love that's more peaceful, a, a life that's more peaceful. Seek uh, time with your friends and family, and that will help you in the present moment. Okay, Cancer, that's what I have for you. Love and light, and I shall see you again in your next reading. Ta-ta for now. If you're interested in a personal reading, there is a link down below in the description box as well as in the comments. And I shall see you again soon. Ta-ta.